Hello and welcome back. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do um, some interesting lighting effects and streaking on some text in Photoshop. Um, it's another kind of light ray sort of effect that you've probably uh, seen similar things, but I'm going to show you how to do this one. This one's really cool and it's pretty simple, so uh, you should be able to follow along. Uh, the first thing that we need to do is uh, <clears throat> take our type tool and put some type down on this background layer in a and just uh, make the layer any size that you want. Just make sure that you leave enough space around the text that uh, you have enough room to do this. So I'll go ahead and write my text. I'm personally using Myriad Pro bold at uh, 36 points. And we'll go ahead and we'll just uh, kind of center the text in the middle of this uh, text layer. Um, <coughs> we'll go up to uh, layer now and we'll rasterize the type. So we go to layer, rasterize, and then type. Next thing that we do is we'll um, go to uh, go to the top once again, go to select, and uh, oh, sorry, I skipped a step. Uh, what we'll do is we'll right click on our uh, layer here, our text layer, and we will go um, <coughs> to select pixels. And that will make a selection of our text. And then we'll go up to Select and down to um, Save Selection. And we can name this anything we want. I'll just name this GDB. And then we'll pre uh, press OK. Um, we're saving that because we'll be using uh, this selection again later, so make sure you save that. The next thing that we're going to do is uh, we'll deselect our area. We can press Control D to deselect it. And then we'll go up to uh, Layer, down to uh, Merge Visible, and we'll just click on that. And that'll uh, take us back to down into one layer. <coughs> uh, after that, we'll go up to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And we'll do a blur at 2.5 pixels. And then it should look something like this. Let me zoom in a little bit, just so you can see a little better. Actually, I'll go ahead and zoom in a little bit more. Something like that is what you should have right now. Now we'll go up to Filter, <clears throat> down to Stylize, and to Solarize. And then this is what you'll have at this point. Um, then we'll go up to Image, uh, Adjustments, and we'll uh, go to Levels. And we'll say auto, and so it'll do auto levels for us. And then we can just click out of that. And I don't think I saved it, sorry. So we go to image, adjustments, levels, auto, and then we'll press OK. And that'll, uh, that'll save that uh, for us. So it just brightens up our, uh, our uh, outlines there a little bit. <coughs> the next thing that we'll do is we'll go to filter, down to distort. And we will go to polar um, coordinates, and we will do uh, <coughs> polar to rectangular on this. We'll press OK. Then we'll go to image, rotate canvas, image up at the top. Then we'll go to image rotation and uh, 90 degrees clockwise. Then we will do um, filter at the top. Stylize and wind or wind, excuse me. <clears throat> and uh, we want to do from the right on here, and, uh, and then we'll press OK. <clears throat> um, we're going to go ahead and repeat the um, wind phase that we just did twice, and you can do that by pressing Control F twice. Then you will press Control i to invert, and then you will press Control f twice more. And then you will comp uh, press Control i once again to take us back to where we were. The next thing that we'll do is go up to Image, Rotate Canvas, Image Rotation, and we'll do uh, 90 degrees counterclockwise to take us back to where we were. Next, we will do filter, distort, and polar coordinates. 
And this time we want to do uh, rectangular to polar, and that'll take us back from uh, that step that we had done earlier. So it kind of looks like this. And you can just make out the text in the middle. Uh, now we'll go ahead and make a new layer. So we'll go over to our Layers palette and click on our New Layer button. And we'll set the blending mode to Color Burn. And we'll use our uh, gradient tool. We'll just click on that in our tool palette. And go ahead and select one of these interesting uh, gradient colors, or make your own gradient color. I just will choose uh, this one. Um, <coughs> And it looks pretty good, so I'll just uh, go OK. Uh, you should use maybe three or four colors in that gradient. And then uh, what I'll do is I'll just click and drag to lay a, a kind of a nice colored gradient over this area. I think I want less blue. I want some blue, though. Let's see. Something like that is probably pretty good. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Now we'll go up to uh, Select, and we're going to load our selection that we saved earlier. So we'll go to Select, down to Load Selection, and we will click on our what we named it, GDB, in our channel there, and we'll press OK. Uh, we'll go ahead and go over to our Layers palette, and we'll create a new layer. And we'll go ahead and uh, make sure that our foreground color is black, and we'll go up to Edit, down to Fill, and um, use our foreground color in our contents to fill that as black. Uh, and then we can deselect that if, if we want, and we can just press Control D on our keyboard to deselect it. And uh, what we'll do now is... Um, So let, uh, set our uh, blending mode for that layer to overlay. And that just uh, knocks out that text a little bit. You can just sit over the top of those colors. And then uh, the last thing that we're going to do is uh, double click on our, our, uh, select, our, our loaded uh, text layer, uh, which is layer number two. I haven't renamed them. So I'll just double click on that. Go to Outer Glow and add an outer glow. And what we'll do is we'll increase the spread and the size a little bit to whatever we want. Um, something like that looks pretty pretty good. Maybe we'll go... something kind of like that. And we can decrease the opacity if we want a little bit so you can kind of see through it and uh, make sure that your technique is set to softer. And other than that, that's pretty good. And then we'll just press OK. And uh, this is pretty much what we have. If that's still too a little harsh, then we can change our opacity up at the top here to 75%, something like that. And, uh, and that's starting to look pretty good. So, and also you can go back to your, uh, your gradient layer and change the colors in your gradient and do all that kind of stuff. It's kind of nice that we set up our layers that way. But this is pretty much the final product. And uh, you can certainly mess around with it and make it your own. So choose your own colors. Um, make the outer glow however you want it and all that good stuff. But, uh, but this is it. So I hope you learned something. Please subscribe to my channel on YouTube. Subscribe to my blog. Follow me on uh, Twitter and Facebook. And thanks for watching.